All right, hey guys, uh, this is Charles from Indie Game Hustle. And in this video, we're gonna continue to install some more useful stuff. And uh, what we're gonna do now is look for Shader Graph. Uh, that's gonna be the one that's going to be in here. I believe it's already a package. Let me see. It may actually already be installed. Yep, it's already installed. And that is because, um, of course, that's because uh, we installed URP and Shader Graph comes part of URP, okay? So we're gonna take a look at Shader Graph long down the road into this whole process, um, mainly towards the end, probably after the gray blocking portion, but I did wanna just kinda let you know we will be talking about Shader Graph a little bit and trying to use it in, in its most basic sense, you know? Um, I'll create a, a series just dedicated to maybe Shader Graph, um, but we're just gonna touch on it so that we can use it in a project um, here. All right. So the next thing we want to take a look at is maybe taking a look at installing Adobe Substance Source, right? Uh, Substance. I don't know if you're familiar with Substance. I've only recently uh, decided to take a look at Substance. Uh, it was either that one or another solution, but uh, Substance is pretty awesome. And um, there's a host of different software that uh, Adobe has acquired uh, and um, it's really nice. Uh, they have a painter and a designer and a source. And source is what we want to focus on because that's what it is. It's really giving you different um, uh, different shaders so you can use them and they're already kind of ready to go. And the goal of this is really so that we don't have to do a whole lot of texturing, right? And that's what this is about. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you don't already have a uh, substance for unity, I think it's what it's called. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to search for it in my assets and let's see if we can get it to show up here. Let me get rid of that. And I'm just going to type in substance. There we go. Substance in Unity. So if you don't already have it um, in part of your assets, of course, you're going to need to head over, like I said, to the website and simply add it. Um, it doesn't cost anything uh, to add Substance. However, Substance Source itself does cost, right? So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And you would have to download it and then import it, of course. I'm going to go ahead and start the import process. And let's go ahead and wait for that. All right. And then so now we have this pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and install substance. All right. So it looks like substance is now installed and it should be good to go. Um, and if you just want to double check it, you can just hit import again. It should uh, just run through it pretty quickly. Nothing to import. That's great. Hit OK. All right. So now that substance is in installed, I do want to check and verify that. So I'm going to go up here to the top. OK, where we see all our different menus, click substance and you're going to have an about. We can click on about. We have that. Uh, and what we want to do is click on, say, substance source. All right. And so it has a little dialog box here. But off to my other screen that you do not see is this handy dandy menu system here. And this is great. And this is awesome because what you can do is pop this puppy right in here, just like so. We'll go ahead and close this and uh, hide this. And what's great about this um, is that Adobe, uh, basically these are going to be all types of different textures and things that you can use on your mesh. Um, everything from brick to grass to metal to plastic to leather to wires to grate to fabric, whatever it is that you need. Um, it's right here at your fingertips. Of course, this is going to cost nothing is free. Um, so this will be require uh, some type of subscription with Adobe, of course, and I have not signed up for it. But just for this um, for this series and this game making process for you guys, I'm going to sign up, of course, so that we can go ahead and utilize it for our project and see if it is really all the rage and I actually think it is I already think it is just by this little bit of looking is just right here in unity and it's pretty awesome but we'll go into more detail about this later but I did want to make sure that you knew that we're going to touch on it and it's here in your system and let's just make sure everything is working as it should right all right great so you don't have to keep this here uh 
Matter of fact, I'm just going to go right here, right click and uh, close tab. But we just want to know that it is ready to go. All right. So the next thing I want to um, install is going to be uh, Send Machine. So I'm going to head back over to Window and head over to Package Manager. And if you're not familiar with Sin Machine, Sin Machine is uh, it's kind of like a little video editor, but it allows like it allows you to put virtual cameras in your scene, and you can basically like record like gameplay and movement and all types of stuff. Um, it does lots of things that's probably even beyond my capabilities, but we're going to try to implement it in a very basic way, right? We're going to try to use it for something. I don't know, something. Unity, Unity provided this awesome tool. We're going to try to make it work. We're going to we're going to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. So I'm going to go to my all packages because that's going to be part of the Unity side of things. And I'm just going to scroll down until I see Sin Machine. And there it is right there. And uh, as I said before, they have different versions, which is going to pick the most recent, and that's going to be the 2.5. That's the one I think we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and hit stall, install, and we're going to wait for that to complete. All right, so it looks like Sin Machine is all installed and ready to go. All right, so uh, again, I'm just going to go ahead and verify that as well. So um, right here in the console, I'm going to go ahead and clear some of these warnings. Uh, this isn't anything I, I would think is bad. Uh, I think it's just uh, we just keep an eye on it, but they're just little warnings about things in the asset. Uh, so I'll go ahead and close that or clear that, and I will go ahead and close this. Now, Sin Machine, uh, let's see if I can get that open here. So I think it's in Window. I think it's in Animation. No, not Animation. Sequencing Timeline. Is it set? Yeah timeline awesome so uh, technically this is going to be kind of your timeline we're not going to I'm not going to go into send machine right now but basically yeah it's here it's ready to go and uh, if we wanted to start doing something with it uh, we can start creating things with it um, but we're not going to get into that just yet but just know that that's how you get the timeline going go to window and what did I say again I forgot already uh, sequencing and then timeline yep and then I'm probably gonna keep it right here at the bottom but for now I am going to close the tab because I don't need it right now we try to keep things organized and in place as much as possible all right awesome so that's pretty much it um, and pretty much in this video we installed uh, substance source we made sure that shader graph was already there we have sin machine and uh, we're pretty much good to go so um, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, we're going to talk about just kind of basic organization and, and organizing some folders so that we can get things going. All right. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. For the next set of videos, I'll be releasing one every day at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So to stay up to date on the latest 3D platforming tutorial, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support, you can find me on Patreon or, of course, you can hit me up on Discord. I like to talk about whatever project you guys are working on. Of course, thanks for hanging with me. Your support is always appreciated. As always, remember, never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.